Greetings, Ring Star Boxing fans. We are coming to you this week from the Philippines where we are about to embark on what promises to be a fascinating journey into the very heart of Philippine boxing. The Philippines doesn't have many sports that produce worldwide heroes, but boxing is one of them. The great Manny Pacquiao, of course, everybody knows of now. Now, two hours from here, we're going to head out into the jungle, away from the noise and the hustle and bustle of the city. We're heading into the Cavite jungle, where there is a boxing training facility that has gotten a lot of notoriety over the last few years because it produces world champions, specifically the IBF Junior Bantamweight Champion of the World, Jerwin Pretty Boy Ancajas. He set this facility up with his trainer and manager, Hoven Jimenez, and they've invited us out to see what it's all about. Now, this facility has attracted not only great Philippine boxers, but boxers from all over the region and from some even further afield. One particular boxer who we're specifically interested in this week is Singapore's Mohammed the Chosen One Ridwan. After his stinging defeat in September of 2018 in Singapore to Namibia's Paulus Ambunda, Ridwan asked for a rematch. So instead of training in the hustle and bustle of Singapore with all the bright lights and the distractions of family, Ridwan has decided to come to the Philippines to leave all the good stuff behind in Singapore and live the Spartan lifestyle at Survival Camp. So we're headed out there to see how he's doing. <laughs> Muhammad Ridwan just loosening up right now and he's about to do an evening mitt session and one of the things that uh, Joven uh, Jimenez was uh, commenting to me earlier about certain things they're working on his technique. So, Mohammed, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, show us what you're exactly working on and how, how that works. You're saying that before, um, again, Sambunda, you were coming in wide, and what, did that, what happened when you were doing that? I think when I was uh, doing that, I think I was focusing a lot on landing the power shot. So I tend to maybe... Um, wind up my punches a lot more than normal so that's where Ambunda's strength came into play because when he comes in close that's where he works but then that's where my punches are uh, not in the perfect distance so I think now we're trying to get the use our footwork whether we're going to fight him on the inside or whether we're going to fight him on the outside we need to be at the perfect distance so that we can control the fight so there's a saying right who those who control the distance will control the fight will win the fight because so I want to keep him at the distance where uh, I want him to be. If I want him, if I want to fight him at the inside, then the distance must be perfect. If I want to be on the outside, the distance must be perfect. Okay, now talk about the punching uh, style that you're working on right now. I think Coach Joven's style is pretty much very, he's, very he's a very technical coach. So he wants me to shorten my punches so that the punch can land the target much faster. So instead of looping punches, he wants it to be like short, snappy, uh, so you can catch your opponent by surprise. Being here, it's uh, it's kind of fun because I get to learn all over again. Uh, it's uh, it's refreshing to, to always learn something from from somebody uh, as knowledgeable as Coach Jovin. And to have Jovin sometimes at the corner watching me spa, giving me some tips, is is it's really good. It's different. Okay, can you give us some more? Uh, show us some more. A little bit of the footwork and uh, do some of the punches and style that you've been learning. Yeah. So the footwork, I think he wants it to be very very balanced. Always be in my stance when I'm going forward, going back. So my stance must always be perfect to throw the punches and not to be off balance. So when I get hit, I won't I won't fall back. I can always maintain my distance. I will can keep him where I want him to be. I can keep him in close. I can keep him on the outside.